What's going on everybody? This is Future Automation, a place where imagination meets reality and you are listening to Tejas. So guys, in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to understand how to use magnetic switch with Arduino and also add a small light for the intimation that whether that switch is active, high, low. We'll see that in the video. So with a cup of coffee, let's get started. So before moving on to the actual video, I would like to say thank you to all the people who have watched and loved my Apple video series, which is Apple Shortcut series, because one of the video has crossed 10K views and other videos are also doing really well. Thank you everyone for all the feedbacks and comments. With your comments, I was able to understand a lot more about shortcuts as well. So I'm going to create one or two videos on the request of all the people who have added their queries as an as a part of new idea and create those shortcuts to fix their issues. And in that, we'll also learn some new shortcuts as well in the coming few after coming few videos. So thank you again, everyone, for that. Now let's move into the today's video that is magnetic door switch with Arduino. So before moving on to the code and the uh, you know uh, testing of the project what i want to show you is this actually is the magnetic door switch the name the reason why this is a magnetic door switch is because a lot of people have used this to create a project where they want to understand whether the door is open or closed so you can understand from it very easily so you can see if i'll show you if this is the door's top part and this is the moving door so whenever these two are in contact the door is closed and when we are going apart from each other uh, moving them apart from each other the door will get open and in that term the arduino will get a signal and will in in turn send that signal to whatever is the next part of your code where if you want to do a api kind of scenario then you can use an esp8266 or something which is sending an api call to intimate you that the door was open so this is something that most of the people have used it basically there is a magnetic read switch in this which is reading uh, whether there is a magnet in contact or not and that is what is in this part of the switch and this is a normal led which i'm using to intimate whether the door is open or not and to process all this this is our usual friend which is the star of the series that is arduino that we are using now we are going to use esp8266 and all and we are going to create the uh, series for that as well but as of now i just want to give you some basic understanding because this particular sensor is not that complicated to use but it is going to come in picture in some of the future videos as well so you can use this for uh, of course in windows and all that in that as well but mostly it is used in doors so that is what usually it is now moving on to the connections so uh, connection is pretty easy for this so what you want to do is let me just zoom in a little bit more and hopefully you are able to see it so you have to take one end of this particular switch and put it in ground so this is a ground connection here if you are able to see it and next what you have to do is you have to take another wire and put it in the pin number two digital pin number two so you can put it in any, any digital pin that is fine so the code that i have written is for digital pin 2 but we can change it anytime you want so I'm, i'll be putting this code in the github so you can go ahead and take a look at that as well and then for the led now here you don't have any uh condition where you have to check what is plus minus because the whole circuit is getting completed and that's what we are checking here but in led you have to make sure that you are checking plus and minuses so here for this particular led they have already provided plus and minus for us to identify so the plus will be going in digital pin number three so let me just use a tweezer because these are not having the header pins so i'm just putting a little bit pressure here 
and the minus one will go in the ground and that's it guys so this is the basic connection okay it's it's remote so let's try it out again yeah and connection is done and it was pretty easy uh, so this is this there's not much of a rocket science in this let's keep it connected for now and we'll see how it works so moving to the coding part so code is very simple what we have done in the initial days of reading a digital pin and then writing a digital pin that's what we are doing here as well so i have created two constants that is two ints here let me just try to zoom in a little bit again my bad yeah okay so there are two pins one is my bad here we need to put led now i wanted to use buzzer here but my buzzer has messed up there's some damage to it so it is not working so that's why i'm using led but you can use buzzer as well here so uh, what we are doing is we have created two constants one is for pin 2 and one is for pin 3 pin 2 is as i said the magnetic switch pin 3 is led and then we are creating a pin mode so for switch read we are having an input pull up pin and for pin uh, led we are having the output and we are doing a serial begin at 9600 in loop what we are doing is we are first reading the status of the magnetic switch and based on that we have created two conditions if the state of the uh, magnetic switch is low then the door is closed and the led will be low if the state of the magnetic switch is high then the led will be glow that is on and the door will be open we have added a hundred sec hundred milliseconds delay that is fine uh, because you can adjust that based on your readings and based on the work the work it is doing so uploading the code will connect arduino here and the arduino is connected and it's working now so we'll quickly upload the code will run in the serial monitor and the code is uploaded and serial monitor let's just open the serial monitor one more time and you can see the door is closed if the door gets open the led should work why it is not working let's try something one eternity later okay i added it to the wrong pin so make sure you don't mess it up the ground are the second and the third in arduino so make sure you do it well now you can see the serial monitor as well and you can see let me just bring up the serial monitor and if i open the door the led will glow and in the serial monitor you can see that your door is open if i am closing the door the led will stop glowing that's it guys so uh we are almost done here now for today's video and i hope you like the video and if you have any kind of queries you can add them in the comment section i'm uploading all the code in the github so make sure you go ahead and check it out and if you have any other ideas related to that particular sensor that particular code you can always get my code from github and modify it and also give us your link in the comment we'll surely check it out and that's it if you like the video make sure you hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed share it as much as you can and keep innovating guys thank you take care